Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Dirt Farmer Television. My name is Locke Michaels and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to work the animal labs that we get on all these new farms and that occasionally pop up on older farms. Uh, animal labs are the buildings. They don't just hold animals and harvest them. They actually create new animals. The first one I believe was the uh, Unicorn Island. Then we had the Dragon's Lair, the animal workshop, where you actually build up and uh, eventually create new animals until you've created everything. When you harvest them, you harvest for the uh, parts needed to create the new animals. And the newest one, for those of you that are already on Enchanted Glen, uh, you're already familiar with it. For those that are getting ready to get it, since this video was recorded uh, the day before Enchanted Glen went uh, live for free access, we're going to show you a basic, easy how-to strategy to quickly complete all the phases of the uh, Enchanted uh, Shop, which is the name of the animal lab for the new Enchanted Glen. We're going to quickly look inside. As you can see, I've already done several of the stages and they are in order. I believe I have uh, three left to go. So I'm right in the middle of the process that I use to quickly complete this. As you if you look on the screen you can see that there are several different colors needed. Let's go down to the last one. Uh, white, yellow, green, blue, and this one will be orange. That's the rarest uh, pixie dust that you need to collect in order to make these items. I just recently made the Firefly Pegacorn uh, and you can uh, see by looking on your screen that it takes uh, four white, five yellow, four green, and two blue uh, pixie dust. A lot of you struggle collecting these off the newsfeed, but it's really easy to make them yourself with a slow and simple process. Now don't get confused with the colors because some labs use different color combinations. For example, the um, uh, Unicorn Island used uh, gems and the uh, most common color I believe was purple. In another lab the most common color may be blue and in another the most common may be red or, or green. So each animal lab is specific in which color of item is the most common and which one is the rarest. So you need to research each one if you're going to do these uh, little features. What I like to do, look here you see six of these enchantment shops that I've built and for once Zynga cut us a little break the enchantment shop has a I'm gonna try moving it real quick so you can see it has a very small signature I believe it's just a simple 4x4 four four, whereas some in the past have been 6x6 six six, uh, or even larger so they take up a lot of room. I think Zynga finally realized, Farmville finally realized, we don't have much space on these new farms until we can expand. So they made these a little smaller. Now what I do is I will take and build one. And when you first build a new lab, you actually have enough of a product to make the very first one. And the very first one will make more of the white. You make it and then you have uh, an animal to put in that will give you more whites as you harvest it. Now the second animal you'll need to build uh, is the silver rhino which also takes just whites but just one more of them. After harvesting your animal lab with the one sheep that makes white you'll have enough to make the rhino which makes yellow and you'll eventually be able to uh, collect it enough to have the yellows to make the uh, Moncino Monarch Horse and so on and so on. I believe the horse does make white so you're right back at square one but oh, I should have mentioned that uh, in order to put the uh, silver rhino in you'll need to build a second house. So I have the white maker in here. I have the yellow maker, the rhino in here. Uh, probably put the uh, one that makes green in here. I probably put one that makes blue in here and so on and so forth. Now if I need, oh, and you can quickly go to the dirt farmer and you'll be able to see which animals make what because we have a guide. Our enchantment shop breeding combinations. You'll see which ones you need. It's got everything listed that we just saw inside the game feature right here. How many it takes to make what. As well as which animals make which color. 
So simply by referring to this and placing multiple shops on your farm, and I don't build all these at once. I built the first one. I was able to collect enough to make the second animal. Once I made the second animal, I built the second one, put the second animal in. Then I was able to collect enough to build the third because I, w I was gaining the next color and so on and so forth. Now you may find yourself in a situation where you've got way too much of one color and you're in need of another. Sometimes you actually may run out of the rarest color. I've got enough of the rarest. I need yellow right now. I've actually got enough green because I also collect them off the feed when I see them. And I need blue. So what I'll probably do right now since I've got all six of mine built and you can build seven, eight, or nine. It makes it even easier. But I've got plenty of white so I'll take the white maker out of his enchantment shop and I'll put an extra yellow one in there so called because I need yellow right now and I also need blue so I may even make two of the same animal if I know it's going to make blue if I need that to progress up it you really have to think it out yourself you really have to plan it you really have to strategize if you want to breeze through these it's been less than a week probably even less than five days and I'm already almost halfway well, actually more than halfway through two-thirds through this particular animal lab and this does work on nearly every single animal lab with the exception of the dragon's lair uh, and uh, the dino lab because they are totally random and they don't have any uh, any sense of continuity they just uh, give random colors but all the other animal labs do work exactly like this and I can foresee Zynga uh, and Farmville only putting out labs that uh, work like this in the foreseeable future since this one seems to be more successful than any that's our quick guide if you have any questions please comment to uh, the post and we'll be glad to answer them Thank you very much.